What is happening everybody? Derek here from DW Designs and welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new, welcome. Subscribe if you guys gain any value or learn anything, I'd greatly appreciate it. All right, with that, let's dive into it. So the last episode, part one, we left off of, I was gonna take measurements and then we were gonna go into the CAD software. Well, I took some measurements and I went straight into Fusion 360 and it was a nightmare. <laughs> okay, um, I tried filming it, the screen on the PC and for some odd reason, it didn't want to export to my desktop, so I lost all the footage, ruined everything yesterday, and besides, I didn't even do it right. It's gonna be, technically, I'm doing it again today. This time, I promise, I'm gonna take you guys through it, whether it goes good or bad. Like I said, simulation to me is a new thing. I'm still learning CAD quite a bit. It's not something that I'm natural at. I have to work at it. Like a lot of you guys out there have to work at it, but hey, with practice comes perfect. You know, obviously nobody's perfect, but you get the point. I'm gonna go back through this again and take measurements again, the proper way. And then we're gonna build it in two separate programs. We're gonna build it in Bentec first, and we're gonna transfer it to Fusion 360, and then we'll build the tubing in there because I tried that last night and it seemed to work the best. So we're gonna shoot for that today. Okay, so we're down here now with the tape measure. We're gonna go ahead and start, start measuring this guy out. And basically, I wanna start from this tube right here across, and we're gonna, we're gonna stop right there. I was initially thinking of building the whole entire sand car in Bentec and then transferring it over, but I'm like, that's just such a waste of time, especially when we're working on this. No, I'm not charging the client for this, by the way, for, for doing this a second time or anything like that. Just, just so you guys know, don't, don't think that. So, but we just don't have the time to play around with that because we need to get this done in a timely manner. All right, so like I said, we're gonna take from here forward and we're basically gonna build this whole front end, probably minus these guys here. We don't, I don't think we're gonna need to put those in because it's, it's not really necessary. So let's, uh, I'm going to put you guys down and I'm gonna take all the measurements. I'm gonna put them in the pad and we're gonna head upstairs into Bentec and start right away. I want to have this thing simulated maybe by lunch. Let's make that a goal. Right now it's 7.55. You guys can be my accountability partner. If I fail, well, I fail, but we'll try again next time. Okay, so let's go. Okay guys, so here we are in Bentec and we're gonna go ahead and build the lower section of the car first. And what I mean by the lower, I mean like the lower, I'm gonna call it the lower hoop. What that's gonna entail is basically nothing. It's just, we're gonna build the lower hoop and then we'll go out there again and then we'll draw up the upper hoop and go from there. So here we are in Bentec assembly. I don't have inch uh, and a half tubing set up in here, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna use inch and three quarter, 120 wall, just mock up anyway. We're not gonna be making it on inch and three quarter because once I transfer it into Bentec, I mean, sorry, once I transfer it into Fusion 360, it's not gonna matter whether it's inch and three quarter or inch and a half, and everything's made out of inch and a half and one inch on that sand car. So we'll just build it out an inch and three quarter on here. And then, you know, if anyone wanted to build one later on, already have a front end made, 
but I'd build it out an inch and three quarter, not inch and a half. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our pick lines, which we already have here is the center of the star, tri-star. If you guys can't see it, my iPad's right here. So if you see me looking over here, it's right here. So we have 54 and three quarter wide from the center, and we're gonna use this tri-star here in the middle as our center. So we're gonna have to figure out what half of 54 and three quarters is. I'm gonna enter 27. Point three seven five. We're gonna hit apply. And we're gonna go right, same amount, apply, and then we're gonna hit clear values. So there's our center. Now before we jump onto moving our spot around, we're gonna go ahead and three and a half, divide that in two. It's gonna go one point seven five zero one direction, and then one and three. 750 the other direction, hit apply, clear values, and now we have our two tubes that are going up the middle there on the back side. And then we have our middle center on the tri-star, which we're not gonna delete that yet. We're gonna leave that there. Now from the middle there forward is 26 inches. So we're gonna go front from the middle of the tri-star there, and we're gonna go 26 inches, hit apply. So there's our triangulated point. If you were to go from here to there, it'd be triangulated. Hit clear value. Now we're gonna move our pick point. We're gonna hit set reference, click one side, and we're gonna enter three and a half, which is to the center of the bend, which is what we want. So we're gonna go forward, 3.5, hit apply. Go to the other side, click apply, clear values. Now the tube from this center point forward is inch and a quarter, so we're gonna click on that there. I'm gonna go one, 0.250, go to the other side, and hit apply. We're gonna hit clear values, and now we have something like this, okay? Now, I know it's hard to see the outcome of this, but as we go along here, you guys will start to see exactly what I'm talking about. Now, here's the difficult part. On the sketch, I have that long section here is toward the 26 inches forward, but it's not quite, it's kind of angled out a bit. So we're gonna go from this point, we're gonna go, well, I'm gonna choose this point, pick point here. We're gonna go forward, okay, 25 and 7 eighths. So 2, 5, point, 7 eighths, and 7 eighths converted to a decimal point is going to be 8.875. And I should have these memorized by now, but I don't. So, and now that's to the center of the bend. And that's gonna be, oh, I'm getting lost here. In my own drawing, for crying out loud, 24 inches. So we're gonna go left 24 inches. We're gonna do the same thing here, but go right with it. Hit apply as well. And then we're gonna hit clear values. Now, when we go up, that should come to a, an angle there a little bit. Now that's the bend right there. You know, this is getting confusing now. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. I'm going to continue the screen recording, um, but I'm not going to talk or anything because we need to just get this done. But you guys will see um, over time lapse how this goes. All right, so I forgot to hit record on the last section that you guys are gonna see uh, pop up here. 
um, once I open up the screen. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go to open and I'm going to click my computer and we're going to click on Sankar front end for Fusion. So we transferred it as a DXF file um, out of here. I'm going to click this plane right there. As you guys can see here now, we now have basically the front end of the sand car. Yes, some things are slightly different than the original car, but I didn't feel like changing that. Um, but it's going to get us in a ballpark like really, really close, which is what we're after. So this is what we want right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into create and we're going to hit pipe. Now I know this is going to be hollow and we're going to create it as a new component so we can hide everything and we're going to select the first tube here we're just going to just going to do this tube right here and we're going to select we're going to enter 1.5 inches and I know that it's 090 wall so 090 okay and then we're going to shorten this up a bit because we do not want oh we lost it okay I don't know why it's not working there we go and I know wall inch and a half and we're gonna hit okay now we just created a new component and of course our sketch just disappeared but we're gonna reappear it and we're going to hit repeat pipe on profile we're gonna go ahead and zero that out and we're just gonna hit join we want this whole upper piece to be the same so we're gonna hit okay there enter just gonna go around the whole entire piece here might have to go around a little bit just takes some time obviously but we'll get it done so obviously we're having some issues here with the rear section here we're not wanting to connect let's go in our select tool here select this all right well I'm gonna go through here and just just do all the, the other sections go back in pipe as you guys can see this is a timely operation so I'm gonna go through here I'm gonna quit talking and we're gonna get this done I'll see you when we're done. So what we're going to do is we're going to lock everything down that's not attached to because we're pretty sure that uh, what will what won't move. And that's all of the blue areas highlighted that are going to be locked down in place flip it around here oh see missed a tube all right so these two tubes right here are the ones that keep cracking that's part of the problem of what's going on so what we're gonna do is before we actually create the simulation I forgot I need to put that tube. okay so the camera quit recording after 30 minutes so where I left off was I got the wrong kind of structural load on and then I changed it to a different kind and now we're going to implement pounds of force and let's just start with a thousand which is reasonable that's not crazy out of proportion so it says here that I have some issues with the solving but I'm gonna solve it anyway if it'll let me oh I know what I did I didn't, didn't create the mesh so let's process the mesh and then once that's done, then it should be able to uh, solve the, the equation. Yeah guys, this is starting to get frustrating here. Um, I'm going to go back in. I'm going to cancel this. I'm not going to save this part of it. Well, let's redo some of this. This is My mind is fried right now. It's like an explosion went off in my brain. Like I said, this is my weak point. I suck at CAD. Always have. I'm not saying always will, but this is something I struggle at that I want to get better at. Which is one of the reasons why I'm showing you guys what it takes to do some of this stuff. Like I said, not everybody has access to this stuff either. You know, this software costs me quite a bit of money every year and I don't always use it but I try to use it as much as I can so that way I can do things realistically speaking. All right guys, I'm going to take a break for a little bit. I came down here downstairs to downstairs to just clear my head a little bit. Um sorry if the glasses are distracting. I'm starting to get a migraine. I don't know if it's cuz I'm staring at a screen for a long time or just I get migraines a lot so maybe that's why. But anyway guys, I just wanted to say that uh 
you know, if any of you guys are struggling out there with something, you know, you're not alone. You know, like I said earlier, this is something I struggle with to wrap my head around all time. Yeah, is it a waste of time? To a degree, but I'm trying to learn myself. If any of you guys out there use Fusion 360 and see what I'm doing wrong, will you guys put it down in the description down, well not description, but down in the comments down below? Because I really like to know, really like to learn. On Fusion 360, feel free to hit me up and let me know what I did wrong, what I could do better on that. As far as our goal that we set today about trying to get it all on the computer and in Fusion 360 and get it simulated, well, the simulating we failed at right now. Um, I've had enough of it today, if I'm being honest with you. I just need to clear my head. And honestly, guys, I just want to get started on this, start cutting stuff off because I, I know what I have to cut off. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Anyway, but we did meet our goal. It is 11.38 right now as far as getting all that in the computer goes. So I'll say like we met like three quarters of our goal, which I'd say is good, good for that. Good enough for that today. Um, I can't talk right now. But I'm going to call this episode two. Thank you so much for watching and uh, going through the struggle with me. And we're going to we're gonna get this thing done 100% complete. It's gonna be good, and the customers gonna be happy. And let's just focus on that. So with that, guys, I'll see you in the next one.